Greetings, everyone. This is round five, game one of the Modern Showcase Challenge review on Neoform. We are again up against Sirzis, who I know to be a good player and a good online grinder. He's been known to play Rep Prowess before and during the Ikoria Lurus Companion Abomination spree. I would guess that he's still on it, but I actually don't know what he's on going into it. So. We are on the draw, unfortunately. We'll see. Alright, so they kept the multi six. What does this hand do? So this hand, turn one, Glittering Wish because of Chancellor. Turn two, Elodamry's Call. Turn three, Neoform. I think that's good enough. Um, right now, we would have to pitch a Nourishing Show, but we have three turns to find a green card or just an Alistair Strider. So I think this hand... Oh yeah, and we have the out to draw a Summoner's Pact or Alistair Strider on turn one to turn one then, no matter what they are. So I think we're going to keep... <clears throat> we had a friendly banter about how uh, how, how he's supposed to be Neoform, and uh, we at this point, I, still, I, I don't think we know what each other is playing, but... We'll see where how that goes. And funnily enough, they mold to four. I reveal the Chancellor and uh, Sears is just just scoops it up. To be fair, I think that um whatever uh, whatever deck he was playing on four, like it was he would be very hard pressed to win from this point. So rather than uh, ending the video early here, I think it'll be interesting and useful to talk about how to sideboard when you win on turn one like this, when you have no information. So a few things uh, came up in my mind here. One, as I said, uh, he is known to play Red Prowess type of decks, um, which I think doesn't lend itself to mulliganing that much, although Sirius thinking that I'm on Neoform means that he should be mulliganing aggressively. Two, what are the uh, current metagames supporting in terms of decks that mulligan a lot? And the two decks that came to my mind right away was Neo, uh, sorry, not Neoform, uh, Dredge and Tron. So, knowing those two, like, I was thinking, like, we I could do, like, a mixed, like, a blended sideboard strategy where we hedge against, like, almost everything. So, I think the center is pretty free to bring in most of the times, as I said, because it does cycle and it's green. And, let's see, so Prowess could be playing Graph Digger's Cage. Uh, Tron, I, I know, would be playing... Uh, Graph Digger's Cage, and not only that, Dredge nowadays, if um, one of my hypotheses was correct, also plays Needle, so I think bringing these in would be pretty good. Against the three decks I hypothesized that he could be on, Veil Summer is um, pretty useless, so four Veils are the cut. And the other considerations I have are um, either two Abrupt Decays to continue, like, just... Abrupt Decay is a pretty flexible uh, answer to everything. It could be anything from, like, Ash Shock to, like, Meddling Mage. So, and it's green, so, like, there's a high four to it. Or I could have the Leyline Sanctities, because um, if we think that he's on Dredge, then he should have Thought Seizes. And if he would think that he's on Prowess, there's at least some value in having these white ley lines. So I would guess that um, how I sideboarded was uh, minus two, minus four Veil Summer, and plus two ley line, plus two Deliverance, at least on the draw. So let's see what we do in the next video, and let's see how we fare in the next video as we have to sideboard in the dark um, against an unknown opponent. So let's go to game two. We'll see you in a bit.